Welcome to Combo Collectibles, your source for all things collectible. I'm your host, Spencer, and today we're talking Funko Fair 2021. Uh, today is January 18th, Monday. Uh, tomorrow on Tuesday, January 19th, Funko Fair starts. Uh, it runs through to the 29th. They're going to be releasing a whole bunch of new pops for this year. Uh, we've got a list of them right here, so we're going to go over a few of them right now. There is a ton of new pops coming out. Half of them I don't even know the show is from, so I'll do my best to get the names right for you guys. Uh, but we're going to be looking at Star Wars, Bakugan, One Piece, Tokidoki, whatever that is, uh, Vocaloid, Naruto, Pokemon, Assassin's Creed, WWE, Sekiro, and my favorite, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so let's start off with the Star Wars ones. Um, so we've got Kylo Ren, Rey, uh, Emperor Palpatine, another Rey, uh, and Babu Frick. Uh, and again, I'm sorry, I'm not up to date on my Star Wars here, so I'll do my best. But they are pretty cool looking pops. I've just got some pictures here. I'm sorry, this is way too much to know in my head, so I've got some reference materials here. Um, so the Kylo Ren's pretty cool. Uh, the Ray is pretty cool as well. Uh, I do like the Emperor Palpatine because they've got some energy effects on his hands. And the Wounded Ray, she's got like a cut on her head and the dual lightsabers with some energy effects. That one looks really cool as well. Um, and then the last one, uh, Mr. Ferk there, that one's really cool looking too. Uh, it's going to be a heavy Funko though. You can tell he's got a giant head, so that's going to be a really heavy Funko pop. Uh, that one is pretty cool, though. Uh, next up, we've got the Bakugan. Uh, now, I do not know these characters well. So, we've got Shun Kazumi uh, for the first pop there. And we've got Dan Kuzo. Kuso? Uh, Runo Misika. Misika? Misiki? Yeah, that one. Girl with the blue hair. <laughs> and we've got Skyrest the dragon. That is really cool looking, actually. That's a that's a pretty cool looking pop. I don't know if these dragons are going to be six inches or just a regular four inch. It didn't say. Um, and then we've got Drugo, or Drogo, the uh, red dragon, and Tigress, which is the last one. And again, that one's really cool looking. The animal pops in that one are really, really cool looking pops. Um, again, I don't know if they're going to be a four inch or a six inch, so we'll stay tuned and see if we can get some updates on that. Uh, next up, what have we got? we got One Piece. Uh, so we've got five new pops from One Piece. I have not started One Piece yet. I'm in the process of watching a whole bunch of animes right now. I'm trying to get through some of the shorter ones on my list first before I commit to like a 900 episode show like One Piece. So we'll get there one day, guys. Don't worry. Um, but for One Piece, we've got Brock or Brook. I don't know how to say that one yet. Uh, he's a crazy looking character, though. Very, very cool looking pop there. Uh, and then we've got the new Zoro, which is actually really cool. He's got the three swords, one in each hand, one in his mouth. Awesome action pose there. Uh, then we've got Crocodile or Crocodile. Uh, he's sitting there smoking his cigar with his hook hands. That's a pretty cool looking pop as well. Uh, then we've got Sabo uh, with his, uh, I don't know if you call that a fire staff, but definitely a cool uh, Funko pop with the fire staff there. And last we've got the new Luffy in his kimono, which is kind of cool for something different. It's in a nice action pose uh, and the kimono looks really cool. So if you're a One Piece fan, you'll probably want to pick that one up as well. Uh, what do we got next here? Tokidoki, have no idea what this is, have never seen it before, did a little very minor research here to figure that out for you guys. So the first one there, the cow girl uh, in the cow suit, that is Mozzarella of the Mufia. <laughs> uh, next up we've got Stelling, Stelling I think, the unicorn. Uh, then we've got Donatella, the donut chick, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with the donut costume there. And Sandy, the cactus. Uh, so again, not sure what Tokidoki is, uh, but if you're a fan of it, I'm sure these are awesome pops for your collection. Uh, Vocalado. We've only got two from that one. Uh, again, I don't know who these are. We've got Hatsume Miku and Miragin Luka. I'm probably butchering these. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, but those are pretty cool looking pops. Again, I'm not familiar with the show. Um, but the girl with the blue hair, that's going to look really cool too. The hair is all kind of waving out, so that'll fill out the Funko box nicely, I'm sure. Uh, next up, we've got Naruto. Now, I am watching Naruto, but I am way behind some of the pops they're doing here. Uh, but I'm still really excited for them, even though I don't know entirely what they are, because they look awesome. Uh, so first up, we've got the Naruto Six Path Sage Mode. This is an awesome looking pop. This is probably the coolest looking pop that they're uh, announcing at Funko Fair this year. Uh, he's got the fire energy all around him, uh, and the, the Six Sage. Like, it just looks amazing. It's an action pose. I don't know if this one's going to glow in the dark. I heard it might. I think that would look amazing if it did. Um, but compared to the Six Path pop that I opened on my uh, previous videos in my mystery boxes, this one looks really, really cool. Um, okay, who do we got next? Next we have Pain. Uh, I don't think they've done him before. Uh, so that's a new one. 
It looks like he's doing an action pose, too. He's doing some sort of attack there, which is really cool. Uh, then we've got Minato, uh, which is awesome. Again, nice action pose. It looks like he's either doing like a superhero landing or he's about to take off and charge somebody. So that is a really nice choice for the pose on that one. Uh, who's next is... Shikaramu? Shikaramu. I think I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm not. Again, that one is really cool, too. They did a great job on uh, some of the poses for the Naruto Pops here. Um, he's in an action pose, and they've got some shadow effects coming off the base. Uh, so it looks really, really cool. Uh, and then last, we have Kabuto uh, with the snake, which is also an awesome-looking Naruto Pop. So all you Naruto fans out there, I know you guys are going to be super excited for these. Uh, again, these are just announcements. It's not like it's an exclusive to the Toy Fair. Uh, so these should be pretty easy to get our hands on, hopefully. Although you guys know how it is with Naruto Pops. They always sell out. Um, next we've got, okay, Pokemon, uh, yay, another Pikachu pop, like, we need more Pikachus, there's only, like, 40 of them, uh, <laughs> but this is a Pikachu in an attack pose, so he looks kind of angry, he's down on all fours, um, maybe he's going for a tackle attack, um, I'm sure the hardcore Pikachu fans will be happy, uh, and then we've got a couple new ones, uh, Meowth and Psyduck are new Pokemon pops as far as I know. Um, they're pretty cool looking. Uh, they're fairly basic. Uh, the Pokemon ones are usually not in too much of a pose or doing an attack, but the Meowth and Psyduck look cool. I actually especially like the Psyduck. He's a funny Pokemon. And then the last one is this Silver Bulbasaur. I don't really know what they were thinking on that. Um, I, I, have you guys ever seen a Silver Bulbasaur before? I mean, I play Pokemon Go as well, and that's not even the color of the shiny, so... I'm not sure what they were doing there. I don't know if that one's going to be super popular. It'll probably either be a total flop or everybody will go crazy for it for some reason. Um, but I'm kind of so-so on that one. Um, next up, oh, we got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That one is really, really cool looking. Uh, my roommate has been playing the new Valhalla game quite a bit and I've been watching them. Uh, it looks like an awesome game. That's a really cool looking pop. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some more uh, Valhalla pops coming out in the future. Uh, but this is definitely a nice start. Uh, moving on, we've got... WWE. All right, you wrestling fans out there are going to be really, really excited about this one. So we've got Stone Cold and The Rock in the Raw arena. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like a, a pop moments, uh, bigger boxed pop, which is really cool. I like that they're in the ring. The Rock's got his sunglasses on. Very, very cool. Uh, and then we've got Stone Cold holding the championship belt. Uh, I believe the next one there, I think that's Edge. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think that's Edge. And then China. And, oh, who's that other guy? I, I'm not up to date on wrestling, so I had to write these ones down. Uh, Drew McIntyre, I believe, is the second last one there. And then Otis is the last one. I don't really know who those guys are, um, but Otis is holding the money in the bank. Uh, so that's kind of cool for a little something different on that one. Um, next we have... Oh, now we're moving on to Dragon Ball. Oh, no, sorry, I missed one. Who is that guy right there? Give me a sec. I missed one in my notes, you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh, we're putting a cut in this video. Nobody wants to look and watch me look up things on Instagram because I'm not prepared for my videos. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. So we missed uh, the pop from Sekiro. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with that one, but it is a very cool-looking pop. Uh, he's definitely got some battle damage, uh, nice action pose. He's got the sword drawn, so that's going to be a really cool pop as well. Uh, but now, moving on to the final category, which I am most excited about, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, now, let's get the pictures here. So... I'm probably going to end up getting all six of these from my Dragon Ball collection. Big surprise, right? Um, so the first one up, we've got Gohan eating noodles. Uh, I was kind of so-so when I heard they were doing this one. Um, but it's actually really cool because he's got a different outfit on. Uh, he's in a Super Saiyan form. And I do have the Goku and Vegeta eating noodles. So I kind of have to get the Gohan eating noodles to go with them. Uh, the second one there is the Goku Super Saiyan doing a Kamehameha. Now, there's a bunch of Super Saiyan Gokus, uh, a couple different Gokus doing a Kamehameha, but they were mostly just like a tiny little clear ball in his hand. They didn't really look like a Kamehameha. This one is really cool. It's actually got energy effects around the ball. It looks like he's really powering up a Kamehameha, so that one's pretty cool. I'll probably end up grabbing that as well. Um, then we've got base form cell, or first form cell. Uh, I have both the perfect cells behind me here, so I'm definitely going to get that one to go with my villain collection. Uh, and then we've got Kame. I've been waiting for them to do a Kame for years now. He's such a main character, guardian of Earth. He was one of Goku's first teachers, so uh, the inventor of the Kamehameha, come on. So about time they did a Kame. I like that he's got his staff on there and his, uh, his cool uniform. So that's a definite yes for my pop collection. 
Uh, and then we've got base form Vegito. Uh, don't know if you guys can see them there. No, they're up a little high, but I do have the uh, Super Saiyan Vegito as well as the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, so I'm definitely going to get the base form to go with those as well. And last but not least, I'm actually probably most excited about this one. They're finally doing Dr. Giro. It's about time. He is, like, I mean, the main bad guy of the show. He started the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, everything in the show happens because of Dr. Giro. So I think that's an awesome pop. Uh, they got the look down really nice. He's got his Red Ribbon hat, his old beard and everything. It looks awesome. I'm definitely, definitely going to be grabbing that one as well for my collection. Um, so there we have it. There's our sneak peek of the Funko Fair starting tomorrow, Funko Fair 2021. Uh, if you guys are excited for these pops, let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys are going to be grabbing. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to our channel because I'm definitely going to be picking some of those up. And as soon as I get them, we'll be doing a review here for you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for watching Combo Collectibles, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.